Hey everybody, Chad from Six Blog. Just want to do a quick little video uh, and show you my birthday present. Um, I posted it on Facebook a few weeks ago whenever I first got it, but uh, I've been wanting to take the time to just do a little video and kind of talk about it a little bit now that I've had a chance to uh, slept in it one night, uh, took two naps in it since then. So I just kind of want to talk about it a little bit, kind of share some initial impression thoughts on it. I want to start by saying that years ago, well, not years and years ago, but uh, I just started backpacking in late 2009. Uh, when I first started backpacking, I just picked up what I thought was an expensive bag. Um, turned out to be a very inexpensive bag. Um, it worked for me. However, I realized uh, that I wanted something lighter, something less bulky. Um, at that time, I started looking at the Montbell. Uh, I think it was called the Ultralight Super Stretch Down Hugger Number Two. Uh, it was the old yellow one. Uh, it was rated at 25 degrees, and I really wanted to get one of those. However, by the time I saved enough money, um, Montbell had actually stopped making that particular bag. Um, they cut out the number two and the four. They just continued to make the zero, one, three, and five. Um, they also made a couple of changes to the overall designs. And over the years, uh, there's been a few other changes made as well. So, uh, I ended up getting a Marmot Helium. Uh, and I've been using that bag since. And it's an absolutely awesome bag. Love it. I uh, have no reason to uh, want to change it out for any reason. Um, but since then, I've still been intrigued by the whole stretch uh, concept of the Montbell uh, Down Hugger bags. Um, so I've had, uh, I've had this bag uh, on a Pinterest wish list. Uh, my wife and I make wish lists on Pinterest so that when it comes time to gift giving holidays, uh, we'll kind of have good ideas of what the other one wants. Um, and it works out really well for us. Um, but this was on my wish list, and this is what my wife happened to get me for my birthday just a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, I want to say that this is the 2014 model. Um, they made some changes uh, for the 2014 lineups. Uh, so this is the new uh, number three bag. Um, this is, uh, I hate to say replace, um, but um, this is kind of replacing my uh, about 35, 40 degree enlightened equipment quilt that I've been using the last couple of years. Uh, and when I say replace, I'm not getting rid of my quilt, um, but it's going to take the place on the trips that I would normally take that quilt on. Now I want to begin by saying that this bag is a bit heavier than that quilt, um, but weight was not my only goal uh, for this bag. Um, this bag is the regular size bag, and it comes in at 24.2 ounces, which is one pound, 8.2 ounces. Uh, and that's actually pretty spot on because according to the website, this bag is specced at one pound, eight ounces. So it was only 0.2 ounces off uh, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, I got what I expected. Um, as far as um, dimensions, I can't quote them all, but I will say that was the cool thing about this bag. Um, this bag will stretch, according to the website, at the shoulders to accommodate 75-inch girth. Um, now that is actually 13 inches more girth than what's in my Marmot Helium. Um, I think at the knees it's something like 65 inches is what it's specced at, and I don't even know if it listed at the foot. Um, so, there should be significantly, significantly more room inside this bag than my helium. Um, and that's, that's what I was really uh, impressed with. Uh, and on top of that, the bag doesn't stay stretched out. Um, this bag is made with the baffles, as you can see, at 45 degree angles, as opposed to horizontal or vertical. Uh, and then they also use a, an elastic stitch uh, and then the way that the, the bag is stitched it allows it to stretch. Now, um, shoot I lost my train of thought. Anyway, uh, just kind of show you this diagram here on the foot box it shows you that it stretches down and out to the sides on both ends. And that's the cool thing about these bags. Um, I want to say one of the first things I noticed about this bag was the zipper. It's got a really stiff zipper on it, and the zipper seems to work really well without snagging. I was really impressed with that. Um, let's see here. I think that's about it. Um, now, I want to say loft. This thing lofts up 
I don't remember if they spec it on the website, um, but um, I measured with a ruler. Uh, this thing has been out pretty much since I've had it. I haven't had it really in a stuff sack. It's been on top of my son's bunk bed. Um, so measuring it, it's at its full potential. I've got anywhere between three and a half to just a little over four inches of loft. And of course, it's a sleeping bag, so you have to take into consideration that uh, that's coming out to uh, a little over an inch to two inches uh, on the top or bottom. One thing that I do like about this sleeping bag is that it does have continuous baffles, so I can, uh, on colder nights, I can shift as much of the down as I can off the bottom towards the top and on the edges, and then on warmer nights, I can shift most of that down off the top uh, onto the bottom of the sleeping bag, so it's a little bit cooler. Speaking of that, this thing is rated at 30 degrees. It's a number three. Number three stands for 30 degrees. Um, numerous people uh, claim that that is far from true with this sleeping bag. Um, a lot of people complain that they've had underfilled baffles, and a lot of people complain that it doesn't get them anywhere near 30 degrees. Uh, no, a few people that I've read their reviews and stuff on, they claim that this is more of a 50 degree bag. Um, so I'm interested in seeing what it's going to do for me. Uh, looking at the loft based on what I normally sleep and how other bags that have similar amount of loft that I've used, um, I'm going to say that this is probably going to get me pretty close to that, especially since I can shift the down. But there's no way for me to know. Uh, and unfortunately, there's no way for me to know for a little while because uh, today it's over 90 degrees. It's midsummer. Um, it's going to be three or four months before I even think about being able to use this bag and depending on it for warmth. Um, but anyway, uh, saying that, according to this bag is the N rated now, and if you can see that, the comfort limit is 40 degrees, the uh, normal limit is 31, and the extreme is 3 degrees Fahrenheit. And what this basically stands for is ideally a woman should be comfortable in this bag at 40 degrees, and of course that's inside a tent. Uh, as well as with a base layer set on. A man should be comfortable down to about 31 degrees and uh, this extreme 3 degree Fahrenheit rating, uh, I think they're saying that that's what this bag will keep a person alive to for up to like four to six hours or something like that. Um, so I'm curious to see how it's gonna do for me. Um, let's see here. I wanna say as far as fit, these things, whenever I was first looking at them years ago, um, a regular would fit a user up to 5 foot 10 inches, and a long would fit a user up to 6 foot 4 inches. Uh, in the course of the last few years, they've changed that. Now a regular, like most other bags, is uh, said to fit a user up to 6 feet tall, and a long will fit a user up to 6 foot 6 feet tall, 6 foot 6 inches tall. Um, for me, I'm 5 foot 10 five foot eleven right in there um, and when I lay in it I'm gonna say that I'm pretty much maxing it out if I was an inch or two taller I don't know if the regular would be ideal for me I can feel my feet pushing against the foot box and I don't really have a whole lot of extra room in the uh, the hood for my head I'm um, not saying that it wouldn't work but it would be uncomfortable and I think that uh, if I was any taller I would rather just go with a long um, as far as the stretch, um, what I found is that I was, I'm not as impressed with it as I thought I was going to be. Um, I was just really anticipating just getting in this thing uh, and just having tons of room. However, to be quite honest, I can't really tell that much of a difference room-wise um, with this bag and my Marmot Helium. And my Marmot Helium has a 62-inch uh, shoulder girth and a 40-inch uh, uh, foot box girth. Um, so I, I can't say that I can tell a whole lot of difference. So I'm not super stoked about that. Um, however, it is still a wide bag. It accommodates me fine. Um, one thing that I was kind of hoping was that um, it doesn't stay stretched out. I was actually hoping that it would compress just a little bit more and fit closer to me um, whenever I was laying in it and I wasn't actually stretching it out. Um, however, it still kind of drapes over me as opposed to kind of, you know, forming around me. Um, I, I feel like if it would have formed around me, I think that that would actually increase the chance of this become uh, actually being a 30 degree bag. 
um, or at least provide more warmth because there would be less dead air inside the sleeping bag that I would be heating up for no reason at all. Um, so that's something that uh, I'm not completely just you know thrown off about, but uh, it didn't live up to my expectation as much as I thought. Um, also, I've read people say that they can sit up in it and cross their legs. Um, I can't do that. If I try to cross my legs, I feel like I would tear some seams or, or rip a, a zipper or, or break a zipper or something. Uh, I can kind of get my legs crossed, but just sitting straight up in it, I can't do it. Um, and one other thing I want to say about the baffles, what I've noticed is whenever I'm laying on my side, which I usually sleep on my side, uh, whenever I'm laying on my sides, especially with my knees uh, to that side, um, I feel like I'm tangled up in it because of the way the, uh, the baffles are cut. It kind of feels like it's uh, twisted on me or something like that, and I'm constantly trying to, uh, to fix it, but I can't fix it because of the way the baffles are. So it just feels a little different. Now, I will say, too, that's with shorts um, or with my boxers because, like I said, I've only used it at the house. Um, maybe if I'm wearing my down pants uh, inside this thing to help boost it, or my Capilene 2 pants. I may not notice the seams quite as much, although I feel like I would even in the Cap 2 pants, so it might not be too bad. It's not anything that's terrible and is going to keep me from sleeping well, um, but it is uh, something that I noticed uh, and that I wasn't expecting. As far as the hood, the hood's okay. Uh, nothing special you know, to rave about, um, but I will say that they use these, uh, this cord here. Sorry about that. They use just this round, I assume it's nylon cord, um, and I wish they would have used elastic because I can really feel that uh, around the top and around my chin um, whenever I've got it cinched tight. I think if it was elastic it would be a little more stretchy and it wouldn't uh, be quite as noticeable, uh, be a little more forgiving, and uh, I think I would enjoy that a little bit better. But anyway, um, I'm looking forward to this despite the fact that... Um, it is, let's see, it's six ounces heavier than my down or than my synthetic quilt actually uh, that I've been using. Despite the fact that it's six ounces heavier, I'm actually really looking forward to uh, using this at the end of this year uh, and seeing what I think about it. Uh, of course, I use 800 downfill, uh, there's 11 ounces of it, um, and they use a 20 to denier fabric, it's their ballistic air light uh, fabric. It's supposed to have really good DWR, I haven't tested it yet. Um, but it's supposed to be really good DWR, and since it's a 20 denier material, uh, it should be uh, very downproof, which is another thing that I'm really happy about. Uh, I ain't, ain't going to have to worry about a bunch of down leaking out through it. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share some, uh, like I said, these are my initial impressions. Um, I have full right to change my mind as I use it more. Um, this is not, you know, anything set in stone. These are, like I said, just initial impressions. Um, so I just wanted to share those with you. Um, super excited to have it. Um, like I said, I'm, there are some shortcomings, I feel like, um, but uh, I'm still, still really excited to have it and to try it. And I think it's really going to work out for me, or at least I hope it does. But anyway, guys, if you have any comments or questions, just post them below. And like, uh, like normal, I'll do my best to answer any of those questions or reply to the comments uh, or anything like that. And guys, I appreciate you watching. See you next time.